Welcome to the 2019 SCMT Winter Finals at OCRC Raceway. Today is the final competition of the Winter Finals. It's the freestyle today. I'm your host, Charlie Seungtai, and joining me is Tommy Mason. And Tommy, today is the final day to really make your mark on this World Finals. Definitely a big day of freestyle action, and you get to see a little bit of what goes on here at OCRC. Plenty of off-road racing, but we are freestyling here on the other side of the room because we've got a lot of good trucks ready to take battle. As we see the competitors getting ready and even looking over at the course layout, we'll take a look at the scoring criteria. The first criteria is time slash filling the clock. So, Tom, you do not want to get a deduction. We get a deduction if you flip over twice. It's definitely a big thing to fill the clock. Drivers, I feel like that's how they win and lose because you go too big, you crash out, you're done. Whereas the drivers who fill the time earn the most points. As well as filling the clock, you also have to factor in momentum as well as tricks and airtime. So all those keys are going to be critical, Tommy, in order to see who wins this event today. But our first truck out is going to be the Red Bull machine of Jonathan Lopez. Truck number one of 24 heavy hitters. Getting ready to do battle here as Red Bull takes to the track. Not wasting any time. Immediately hitting both of the freestyle pods. Now making his way Ooh. to the back section. Had to reverse a little, so that's a little bit of a ding on his momentum. But he will carry on. Oh, trying to figure out. It's a very tricky layout, Tommy. Yeah, absolutely. And you know, one of the things that you just saw was where do you stand as a driver? Because there's so many obstacles to really pick from. And a nice huge air leap and a nice save to boot. So that's going to get him some points. And oh, oh what a flip. So that's, that's going to be one ding on his time. He's going to ne necessitate a, a flip over by the turn marshal. So if he gets one more flip over, he's done for the day. And don't, oh, I thought that was, <laughs> what a terrible way to yeah. get it going again. But whew. Able to catch my breath on that one as Red Bull back underway. And uh, he doesn't have another mulligan. This is it. So he's kind of got to go big and a nice oh. save. <laughs> Until it wasn't. Uh. So tough break for Jonathan as he will end the day with 13 points and end his 2019 Winter Finals. Well, Red Bull definitely showing that that truck is a sky wheelie truck as Blue Fender, Jessica Dahl, hits the track. The first of two trucks for Dahl. Uh, Dahl also campaigns the Scarlet Bandit, which we'll see in a little bit. But right now, she will see what she can do in this Blue Thunder machine. Oh, and she actually <laughs> lands on, uh, looks like Stars and Scars, so. Oh, oh, oh. Couldn't get, get oh. oh, but she did get away with it, so. Gotta love these trucks nice in the four-wheel drive, yeah. yeah. A little bit of a reverse there, trying to kick out, and does a backflip. And lands it, so nice move by Jessica as the Blue Thunder scores some points right there. Now working the other side of the course over that freestyle pod to the next freestyle pod. I thought she was lining up for another backflip, but that is all thinking otherwise. And she's just going for oh, it. And Tossing saves it, that so. truck around. Nice save by Jessica. It's one move after the next, and I feel like this is Again, part of throwing the clock. Oh, nice variation of a backflip right there, Tommy. Non-stop, a little stoppy there. Doing a great job as a second truck out. Gonna have to set the mark high for the other competitors. Just non-stop. She's just hammering every obstacle that's on track. Yeah, I think she's pretty much hit every jump except for maybe the big air jump. Ooh! Well, she's literally hit it there. <laughs> uh, she fills the clock, so a very solid run by Jessica Dahl, scoring a 23. And that's going to be the early mark to beat, Tommy. Very good run as Travis Letcher in the Black Pearl heads out to the track to start his freestyle run. Thought he was going to hit that backflip ramp, but he's going to decide to save that for a little bit later. Kind of just going around, going around the track, looking for the right obstacles. You can't go too big too soon, but you don't want to waste any time either. It's a tricky balance, isn't it, Tommy? Because 
you know, you, you don't want to go over too soon, but at the same time, you have to score a lot of points to, to get the win as he hits the big air ramp. Yeah, and definitely, I mean, look what he's just following up. Jessica went out there, ran a great freestyle, filled the clock, and she did a couple of backflips just like Black Pearl. Nice backflip there for Travis as he continues on. That was a huge, that thing had some big time elevation, Holmes. Driving across the track, hitting everything in sight. Gonna save the backflip for later. Go over those freestyle pods. Oh, yes, it's on the bicycle, but saves it. You can tell where the experience comes in. Oh. And, but upside down. Trying to save it, but he's not gonna be able to do it. So that's gonna be his first uh, flip of the day. He has one more mulligan and he's done. So what I was saying about that experience is it looks like we're going for another backflip. Almost oh. a double backflip, but up on its lid. But all throughout that run, Black Pearl, Travis was just kind of blipping the throttle and not going too crazy, but definitely leaving his mark on the track. So Travis Letcher scores a 15 in Black Pearl, and we move ahead to Max D with Fernando Martinez. Fernando running one of those axial trucks so you can pick up at your local hobby shop and that's one of the great things about the SCMT series is you can just show up with anything resembling a monster truck but Max D on its lid. A tough break for Fernando we're gonna see if he can bounce back from that uh, pretty early flip so he might have to be careful the rest of his run and so much for being careful. <laughs> oh, that is a Max D run if I've ever seen one. He definitely parked it, but that's going to be the end of his run. Max D with a score of nine. That's typical. Either it's going to win freestyle or crash hard trying. Up next is Travis Letcher's second truck, the Mutant. So Travis already has his feet wet on this track. Though every truck, it seems like out here, is just a little bit different from the others. So now he's got to figure out the difference between the Black Pearl and this one. You can see the way that suspension is set up. It wants to hike that left front wheel out. Yeah, this truck quite a bit different in setup versus his Black Pearl machine. Big air on the big air ramp, Tommy. Yeah, that was a big leap right there. Up into the nosebleeds. Settling it back down nicely. That truck soaked up the landing really well. We're going to see another one. Looks Backing like it. it up to the arena. Ooh. And another huge leap. So the mutant is on it here, but oh. does. <laughs> Can he save it? Oh, oh. I was going to say he, he's trying to rock yeah, he's it. He's definitely trying, but it's not going to work out. So that's his first mulligan. Well, the mutant was amped up there because that thing was full of throttle. One more Over time. Did it. Oh, hugely. Oh, but it looks like he broke. Yeah, he broke something, Tommy. His Big time. <laughs> but he's still trying. He's yeah, I'm just trying to. Oh, he's still a clock. Oh, double. <laughs> it looks like a double or two and a half backflip. My so goodness. Definitely went out with a bang, and even with the deductions, he still scores a 17. So nice run for Travis as he concludes his 2019 Winter Finals. And our next truck will be the Barefoot, Tommy, of Levi Scones. Levi Scones, hometown driver to this Orange County OCRC. Oh, but Barefoot up on its lid early. That was a quick uh, tip over for Barefoot, so you have to be careful now. Over the freestyle pause, not wasting any time, just on the gas. Schaefer style. Oh, oh but, but up on its lid again. A bad bounce. Landed on the rears and just shot um, him over. So tough break for Levi. Short run is going to result in a score of six. But he will still put on a show for us on his way out. We're going to take a short break. But coming up next, Freestyle will resume with heavy hitters such as JTP13, Cody Saucy in Motorsports, and Time Flies. We might have been banned from Monster Jam, but Feld can't stop us from bringing you the SCMT Winter Finals. Starting in January, Low Budget TV will be bringing you all of the high-flying action from the second annual SCMT Winter Finals, where races will be won, trucks will be destroyed, and champions will be crowned. 
If you missed any of the action, Low Budget TV has you covered as Race 1 will premiere January 1st with coverage of Race 2, Freestyle, and bonus Retro Class action coming in early 2020. So if you can't afford to go to Monster Jam, catch all of the best mini Monster Jam action on Low Budget TV. Hi, I'm Cole Custer and you're watching Low Budget TV. The SCMT Winter Finals is brought to you by Spectrum, leaders in spread spectrum technology. Proline, racing to bring you the best. And by J Concepts. That's a nice look at those retros, Tommy. We're gonna get a better look pretty soon. Oh! oh. I spoke too soon. <laughs> yeah, really good look at this as we're back here at the SCMT Winter Finals Freestyle Action from OCRC, and we have Scarlet Bandit Jessica Dahl on the field. So this is Jessica's second entry. She, I think at the moment, is still leading. She will try to see if she can up that score, though, with Scarlet Bandit. Oh, Ooh. but gets a little high it there, stuck on the pod. And oh, up and over. A tough break for Jessica and the Scarlet Bandit. We'll see if she could rebound from that tough early tip over. Looks like she's going to make her way to the big air ramp. Oh, Kinda. awkward landing, though, yeah. Tommy. Uh, just clipped that freestyle pod and tipped her over. So Looks like she tried to double up, but just came up short. That's going to be a tough break for Jessica. Scarlet Bandit will end up with a six, but she still had a strong run overall in this freestyle session. We'll see how long it lasts as Stephanie Icono comes onto the track with the JTP 13. Oh, oh kind of cased the jump right there, going reverse up it. That's kind of a tricky spot right there, right next to the wall, but she pulls through. <laughs> Crushing some cars, trying to look for something to do right there over the pod. Oh. But Oh, that's not what she had in mind. No, not at all. So, one recovery down. One left, and you don't want to waste it here. Oh, oh nice, nice save. save. Still plenty of time on the clock. JTP 13. Got to tread that fine balance of burning it down and keeping it on your wheels. And you can see where the momentum can be your friend as getting kind of stuck on everything lately. Oh, 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 oh. saves it again. Look so that. staying alive. I feel like we're, we're anticipating a big ending because this truck, I feel like she is searching around trying to pick pick the line she wants oh, oh no tough break for stephanie so uh with the deductions we'll end up with a 17. as we move ahead it's alan Enriquez in the cody saucier motorsports big old leap there oh it gets a little stuck I enjoy oh. watching this truck running. I like the, uh, it looks like a bit of a stiff suspension setup, and it does some weird things on landing, mm -hmm. but it makes for an exciting, it gives you actually more opportunity, it feels like, because you got a chance to do slap wheelie, um, you have a chance to save it a little bit better, oh, and... <laughs> right oh, 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 oh! Look at this! It's like a never-ending save. What was I just talking about, Sally? <laughs> and he saves it! <laughs> Man, it's like, uh, it's like you knew, Tommy. Oh, man, that's what I was going to say. In racing, it's exciting. In freestyle, it's even more exciting. That's definitely got to be the move oh. of the freestyle event so far. Wow. As uh, Madriquez continues in this strong run and just very exciting run by Cody Saucy in Motorsports. Doing the break dance right in the center of the arena, too. And haven't slowed down. I mean... Hitting everything inside, hitting even other trucks. trucks. Yeah. 
really utilizing the full course too. So fans up on their feet in the oh, background. Oh, that's a nice wheelie. And really just, Allen is really, uh, Oh, I'll try to even do a backflip on him. Oh, and he kind of pulls it off. And saves it. What a Brings run. it back. Pulling out every trick in the book right now. So. Wow. Oh. And up on so. its lid to end it. Your new leader. Yeah. Excellent run by Alan Manriquez and the Cody Saucy of Motorsports. He's got to be happy about that. As we move to the time flies machine of Larry Turner. Charlie, how did you follow that up? I mean, you got to just kind of break your truck in half now. <laughs> Even if you got to make sure you do it at the end of the run. Yeah. So. Look at this save, though, right on top of the pot. Oh, Larry. Look at that. Look at that movie. He's trying. What's, he, what's going on? Oh. oh. <laughs> Where are you going, Larry? The field's over here. The arena's this way. Oh, almost had to uh. save, but just a little bit too much throttle on that last uh, last bit that got him over one more time. So. Wow. So back to back, huge saves and save near saves. Twist. Yeah. Flops. I don't even know what you call it. Oh. Larry's just. I don't think he's. There's no brake pedal in that truck. He just falls to the wall. Yeah. You know, 100% on the, on the, you know, on the gas and just making it happen. That was a nice leap right there. And a backflip. Oh, oh, and oh. And oh, he saved it. Oh my so. goodness. That just shows, Tommy, how unbelievable these trucks are. I mean, Larry has to run it this way. He's got to run ragged because of the last. Cody Saucy Motorsports. Yeah. yeah, just throwing up a great score. And Larry's still in a championship battle uh, for third place with Chris Rivali, so this is a big deal. Uh, he can't settle down. They're in a tight race for, in the season-long points championship. Looks like he's trying to set up to maybe use that that wooden block to do a wheelie or two-wheel trick of some sort. He's gonna try it again. He's not gonna be denied. Uh, not denied. not quite working out. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so. He's getting his frustrations out on those pods now. And that's it. So, solid 19 for Larry, but I know he was looking for a little bit more. As we move ahead, it's Jeremy Bunting and the crash test dummy. Jeremy made the trek from NorCal, so he... He, uh, he came quite a ways to come down here, Tommy, to come all the way to SoCal. Oh, oh that was a big hit, actually. Yeah, that was a really big broke. hit, yeah. Oh, so that might be it for Jeremy. Tough break. Wow. Only seven points, but he still has one more bullet in the chamber with Bad Company. As we see Larry's second machine, the Titan. So Larry giving a nod to those Noir Cowboys, Time Flies and Titan. As, oh, oh, it's stuck. Oh, what's oh. going on? A sidewall save, but a sidewall flop. I don't even, yeah, I don't even know what to call that. But, that uh, was, that was wild. So now he's got, uh, he's got really no more now. saves yeah. left. No more recoveries. He can't be doing that lid thing again. But off to a fun start. Big air over that kicker jump. Oh, 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 oh. Rocket, rocket. Is he going to make it back? Oh, I don't think no. there's any safe in this one, Tommy. So, tough break for Larry. It's going to be a short run and ends up with a 12. Well, we're going to take a quick break, but coming up, it's Bad Company, Gravedigger, and Stars and Scars. We might have been banned from Monster Jam, but Feld can't stop us from bringing you the SCMT Winter Finals. Starting in January, Low Budget TV will be bringing you all of the high-flying action from the second annual SCMT Winter Finals, where races will be won, trucks will be destroyed, and champions will be crowned. If you missed any of the action, Low Budget TV has you covered as Race 1 will premiere January 1st with coverage of Race 2, Freestyle, and bonus retro class action coming in early 2020. So if you can't afford to go to Monster Jam, catch all of the best mini Monster Jam action on Low Budget TV. Hi, I'm Noah Gregson. You guys are watching Low Budget TV. The 2019 SCMT Winter Finals is brought to you by MIP. MKS Servotech.
and by Horizon Hobby. Oh, what? These drivers, man, they are ready for freestyle. Taking out the poor cameraman as we're back here at the 2019 SEMT Winter Finals at OCRC Raceway. Bad Company, Jeremy Bunting. He's on the track. So, Jeremy hoping that this run goes better than his first run. Oh, oh I don't know about that. Say, oh, man. Oh. Tough break for Jeremy, but at least he didn't break this time. Probably because it's a Chevy. So, <laughs> yeah. he goes for the backflip and nails it perfectly. Awesome so. shot there. Our crickets are just holding down those camera angles nicely. And now Bunting, uh, he got a surprise like everybody else going into this weekend as Rain took over the Hot Rod Hobbies facility. And a huge leap and up oh. on its lid once more. But Jeremy having to travel farther south and just not going to cut it here at OCRC. Yeah, disappointing run for Jeremy. I know he was expecting more than a nine, so tough break. But we know that he's a solid competitor and he'll be back. But right now, it's the Gravedigger of Kyle Rabali taking to the track. So we'll see if Kyle can burn it down just like uh, you would normally see from any Gravedigger driver. And this is another one of those axial trucks. A lot of drivers running a custom chassis, Charlie. I know you can explain a little bit more in depth. Oh, nice save. Yeah, there's a lot of different choices. That's one thing that's that's so great about the series because you could go crazy and, and get a custom chassis like a Warpath that's um, a very proven uh, model, but you can also just get a, something that's easily found at a store like this Axial and come play with the big boys. So, um, and that's exactly what Kyle Rivali is doing right now with the Gravedigger. Oh, yeah. Tough break right there, so first tip over for Rivali, but he's going to keep going. And not bad to go this far into the run, considering the other trucks that have gone before him. Um, this far into the run with a recovery needed. Oh, and a nice backflip. Back yeah. My goodness, with elevation. He tried it again. Gets away with it, so... He's able to keep keep going, which is great for him. Oh, but a weird landing. Land on those rear wheels and just couldn't get the balance of the truck where he needed to be. So that's going to end his freestyle. Uh, a little bit short of a run, but a solid 16. Not too bad for the Gravedigger. As we move on, it's Sean Johnson in the Devastator. So Sean is a, a fairly new competitor to the SCMT series, but he's been very impressive, Tommy in his uh, early runs with the tour. And a backflip right off the start. I mean, less than a minute in. And another and a wheelie, so look at that. I mean, Sean came here to play. He's not messing around. Oh, 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 oh I don't even know what to call that, yeah. yeah. I mean, you can sense it, Charlie, that these drivers, they are going for it. They know this is the last event of the year. They've got a long off season, and they can fix the trucks later. Do you think it's an oh another backflip for Sean? So excellent run so far. Uh, do you think it's an advantage to to go out later because you can see what everyone's done, see their lines, know what score you're trying to get? I think it oh, helped. What a front flip off the pod! Leo Donald will be proud. Wow, another backflip. This guy is just killing it right now. Just backflip to backflip. Oh, and it took over, but and that'll do it. He was giving her on that freestyle <laughs> run. Well, he might not be done after all, actually, so... Looks like Johnson's gonna keep going. And I don't blame him, I mean... All of our runs so far. Oh, and another wheelie saves it. Big arrow with a freestyle pod. I mean, this is a fantastic run he's got going for him. I mean, it's gotta be definitely a threat to wow. the lead. Oh, he just missed wow. that. Those deductions kill him. But, uh... That, 21. Shows, how, that shows how important a somewhat clean freestyle is, but... Clean doesn't matter when you're putting on a show. Oh, Holy crap. Chris Ribali just coming out swinging with the hurricane force. So <laughs> oh. uh, he probably saw what Sean Johnson did and was like, man, I got to do something big. So, And he's he's the one in a battle for third with Larry Turner in this points championship. So he, uh, he knows that he's going to have to take advantage of uh, Larry's somewhat disappointing day to try to lock up third points. So a strong run will go a long way in doing that. Got lucky there. Yeah, that could have uh, been the first flip of his run, but instead he keeps going, oh, right into the big area ramp. We've actually seen a few people do that. Mm -hmm. 
kind of run out of space even though you got a big floor here. Yeah. But just hucking it out here in that hurricane force. Nice wheelie oh. into a stoppy. Nice combination right there. That's tricky. That was impressive because this is a carpet track and you don't usually get uh, away with that easily because of the grip. You got so much. Yeah, it's hard to modulate that balance uh, on such a grippy surface like this. It's very easy to overdo. More big air. Oh, oh where'd that piece of wood it. come yeah. from? <laughs> Did that hurt the truck at all? That's usually a suspension breaker. And we've seen him <laughs> we've seen him break this truck before. So uh Chris Rivali's no stranger, nor is he afraid to breaking the truck if he has to. Back flip. Oh, into it. Wow, Landon did another. That, and that's going to be your new leader, Tommy. Absolutely so. Big points day potentially for Chris. Scores at 27 and jumps to the top of the board. As we move ahead, it's now Michael Letcher in the Bounty Hunter. Letcher having a strong run in the second race of the Winter Finals, getting to the final round. Let's see if he can uh, keep that momentum in freestyle. There were some crushed cars using a lot of the course, so yep. doing a good job of making sure he hits every obstacle. He paid that entry. He's going to use it all, man. It's over the oh. oh, that was a weird landing with a... Oh. <laughs> oh, it's not good when you see pieces fall off the truck, Tommy. Yeah, but they're going to keep going anyways. You can mm, see it. might not damage. be able to turn, actually. That might... Yeah, I think his steering is broken, so mm -hmm. he's going to do the best he can with being able to just go straight or reverse, but... um. That might be the end of his, uh, and that will probably be the end of his run, so. I think so. Uh, Michael does the best he can with the damaged truck, but he will have to settle for a 13. Still has one more bullet left in the chamber with Iron Outlaw later on. But first, it's uh, Stars and Scars, Michael Icona. Big air right off the bat wow. Michael. Wonder if he needed some oxygen up there. <laughs> As Rosh performance, going for it. Going over the pod to the big air ramp again, so. Well, I apologize, this is Stars and Scars. Oh, yeah. No, I'm it's, getting it's ahead of myself. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was getting ahead of myself. They are very similar. Very so. similar. But definitely Rosh performance under the hood. Yeah, that Rosh power, just like in the NASCAR cars, so. Launching this machine. Look at this. This guy is out. Oh. Yeah. Going. Oh. Oh, what was that? Hopefully that wasn't anything important. Yeah, so it's. We got a lot of trucks losing parts, Tommy. That just shows how big they're going. Well, I probably were the fillings out of the driver because. <laughs> I mean, it's not slowing down at all. Michael, he's just hammering down on this track. Look at this thing. It's almost like he's treating it like a race to see how many obstacles he can hit in yeah. 90 seconds. Oh, oh, nice, nice save, yeah. Going for the leap again. Big <laughs> air. Yeah. Into, whoa, backflip. In, Do you think uh, that was planned? I don't think so. I don't know uh, if that was planned. I think that caught him up too, but new leader. Yeah, so that move puts him over the top, but we still have six trucks remaining, including Hooked, Roush Performance, and Hang Time. Hi, I'm Cole Custer, and you're watching Low Budget TV. The 2019 SCMT Winter Finals is brought to you by Amain.com, performance, sports, and hobbies. Fat Cat Customs. And JV Scale Graphics. So as we see, Tommy, some of the competitors that have already run, uh, there's Alan nervously waiting to see if he could hang on to his podium position. So. Still got six more trucks that he's got to dodge. Up first is the hook to Chris Rivali. So one big. Not we'll ready. see if Rivali can follow up his currently second place run and one up it. He starts off in spectacular fashion. Back it up to the wall. 
Oh, look at that good. big air Perfect. to a wheelie. That's Perfect. gotta be one of the best technical tricks we've seen all day, Tommy. Mm-hmm. Oh, but into the wall. Maybe not. That's not giving too much credit. <laughs> I think he's I think he knocked himself silly there for not to turn. He was probably still like, I can't believe that worked. Yeah. I I'm still surprised too, especially on carpet. Hard to drag the back end. And, oh. and a big flop across the arena floor. So I think he's trying to do a two-wheel trick, but it just did not work out as planned. Oh, saved it. Another Huge oh, backflip. Oh, look oh, at this. Dude, that's... Oh, oh, end of his run, but you know what? I mean, wow. round of applause to Chris Rivali. That, Those are two of the hardest tricks you're ever going to see in RC Monster Truck. So well, That was incredible. 17 for hooks, but in reality, maybe should have got a little bit more. But um, we move on, and Zach McKenzie in the pretty in black. So do you think the freestyle trend is going to change? Well, maybe not. I was going to say, do you think it's going to change to a um, technical freestyle run versus the, the full sends that a lot of these drivers have been doing lately? You know, it's interesting. I mean, I'm sure if you ask a lot of drivers, they all have sort of their theories on what they think works best. And some drivers probably are better off in certain things than others. So a tough break for Zach as he gets his first flip over. So uh, Trevor Damo flips him back over. And Pretty in Black will continue on its way. But, you know, I probably, I, I think if you're going to want to win this, it's probably going to require, oh. oh so tough down. That's going to be it for Zach as he scores an 11 with Pretty in Black. But, you know, I think if, you're gonna, if you want to win this, you're going to have to have a good balance of both technical tricks and big air. As we see Michael Letcher with his second truck in Iron Outlaw immediately going <laughs> end over end, but saving it and back to the big air ramp. So it didn't work out that time. No. He's going to get a rescue there from the monster truck madness pterodactyl. And, and uh, you know, that's, that just shows, though, like, if you just go big all the time, you do run that risk of uh, going over. So it's, it's a tough balance. But that's why, you know, whoever wins this, they're going to have to earn it because it's not easy to have that quote-unquote perfect run. And a huge leap. Oh, 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 where are you going? Up on its lids. Couldn't oh save God. it. So, yeah, let your Iron Outlaw will have uh, an 11. As we move on, it's Trevor Donald's first truck, the Hang Time. And this is the truck that, out of his two Tommy, is usually the better of the freestyle trucks. Oh, big, huge leap. Kind of a bad and bounce. Can he save it? Oh. He wants to. He's rocking it back and forth. Come on. You can do it. And, and he, he does. does. Yeah. Suspenseful moment there, but that did burn up the clock. <laughs> you take the good with the bad, right? Oh. But nice save once again. Big air into a wheelie into the second pod. Some nice combinations for Adamo. Here's the fresh cars. Just completely just didn't even touch them. Mm -hmm. Didn't need to touch them anyways. So I think we've gotten our our most vertical oh. highest. You see that throttle control, Tommy, just yeah. ro uh, controlling how quickly the truck rotates. Kind of looked like it was going to under-rotate. Jeez, he, flew, he fell out of the sky yeah. right there. <laughs> And still saves it. She still has yet to use a recovery. And just Man, that hammer is just just shows how strong these Warpath chassis are, Tommy. They just they survive everything. Yeah. yeah fully, look at this. Break dancing. Wow. Fully custom built chassis. Up on its lid, still bouncing around. Triple, double, Jeez, quadruple. Yeah, backflip. I don't know how many flips that was, and he's still going. It's this truck is ragdolling while being in control. Oh. That was quite a hit right yeah, there. Tough landing. Another <laughs> hit. <laughs> Just nonstop. And, and, oh. oh, that might be it. It looks like it. Something broke. So there's like the collateral one. damage right yeah. there. Looks like one of the four links there. Scores a 20. A little bit surprised. That I thought yeah. it would be a little bit higher, but nevertheless, the 20 for hang time. As we move to Michael Icono's second machine, the Rash Performance now. Okay, started with a trick. And now going to air. Airing it out. 
So he's dropped on some Air Jordans there. <laughs> and going to town back up to that huge leap. Into a little nice. wheelie. Yeah. On the move, you can see these drivers. Towards the end of this freestyle show, gonna have to go hard all the way. Oh. Gonna beat a 28 and sidewalling it, it's not gonna help. That was a little bit of an awkward hit, Tommy. Uh, yeah, he's saying oh. we're done. So, looks like uh, Roush Performance will end the day with a 10 with a short run. And that leaves us with one more truck, Tommy. The launch control of Trevor Adamo. Well, if it's anything like the last one, he's going to need some sort of control. Air traffic control, possibly. That's Trevor. Getting ready to... Back it up to the wall and start the clock. Jeez. <laughs> Almost flew out of the whole course. Another wheel. Just, this truck's a wheelie machine. Oh, oh but an early flip. So. Oh, but he saves it. So it just... I thought he was going to give it up there and against the wall, but he saves it. I mean, nice double wheelie right there. I think this truck's on two wheels more than it's on four, Tommy. It's freestyle. You don't need all of them. That's why they gave you four for a reason. You got some despair. And oh, <laughs> clips the wall. And that's going <laughs> to... So that's going to be his first uh, flip. Yeah. Little Caddy Wampus there. There's a dupe in there in the air. <laughs> and you gotta wonder, is Trevor just... Is he mad, maybe, that he didn't get the lead? No, he's up on his lid. So that's gonna do it. 14 for launch control will lock it up for Michael Icono and Stars and Scars. So... Tough break for Trevor, but it looks like he's still going to give us a cameo. Still wants to burn it down. It is the last event of the season. Absolutely. I mean, Trevor really does a great job to uh, get this SCMT uh, series out and about in front of the eyes of the public. You just see a round of applause from competitors. So nice show of respect from all the racers in the SCMT series as uh, Trevor burns it down for us. And that will conclude freestyle. So... Uh, the points are being tabulated, and our officials have determined that it is Michael Iacono who will take the win with the Stars and Scars the score 28, followed by Chris Rivali. And Alan Manriquez scores a podium, Tommy. So, excellent run for Cody Saucier Motorsports. Just an incredible day of freestyle here at OCRC. Big thanks to the track and the crew, and of course all the racers to be able to make the trip down to uh, the OC. As we see the final results for the weekend, uh, Adamo did not win freestyle, but he does win the overall winter finals championship. So congratulations to Trevor Adamo and the launch control. And uh, that's it for freestyle, Tommy. So overall, what are your thoughts on this 2019 winter finals? You know, I'm bummed out that it's coming to an end. 2020 is right around the corner. And uh, we've seen some incredible stuff this year, but especially here today. As we take a look at some of the best highlights of the day, I mean, there were just so many great tricks today, Tommy, that it was honestly, it was really, it was hard to narrow it down to these for this rollout, but um, we're not 100% done yet, Tommy. We still have a little bit more to go. We got the Retro Class 2 as a bonus here on Low Budget TV from the SCMT Winter Finals. Awesome looking trucks, replicas of yesteryear. So you do not want to miss that. But for today, that's all we have. So for Tommy Mason, I'm Charlie Seungtai, and we'll catch you next time we go RC Monster Truck Racing on Low Budget TV.